There are many main characters which become powerful time to time by doing intense training and hard work. One of its popular examples is Asta from Black Clover, but in today's video, we're not going to discuss about them. Instead, we're going to talk about the top 10 main characters who look weak, but actually are overpowered. By the way, a point to be noted, this video also includes popular overpowered characters, and if we get a good response in this video, we'll make sure to do a video on underrated main characters too. Before starting the video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and press that bell icon to get all our latest video notifications. Number 10, Issei Hudo from High School DxD. I bet no one would have imagined that I was going to include this anime in the video, but deep down, we all know how powerful Issei is. The only thing he needs to reach that is one sweet booby grab and will turn himself into a killing machine, and I expect all of you to know its plot, so let's not go deep into this show. Actually worked. <gasps> what? Oh! Damn it! Number nine, Makoto Misumi from Sukumichi Moonlit Fantasy. Like many other students his age, Makoto is quite naive. In sports and his studies, he is barely on average. But one day, he's sent to another world as per contract between his parents and the goddess, but because of her own preferences and beauty standards, she abandons and throws Makoto to the edge of her world into the wasteland, while secretly kidnapping two other people from Earth and sending them to her world as heroes. Even though the goddess doesn't think he's a good companion, the truth is, he is the strongest person present on that world. Number 8, Salvarine Aldrake from Peach Boy Riverside. Sally is a kind hearted spirit who craves for adventure. She's always protective of her friends and longs to fulfill her goal of having humans and Oni live together in peace, oftentimes with naive innocence. When she activates her peach eyes, she takes on a form almost identical to the one Makoto takes while fighting Oni. Because of being raised in a castle surrounded by luxuries and isolated from the world, there are many things she doesn't understand while the rest are obvious. Although she's a pacifist and calmed person, if someone insults or hurts one of her friends, she will become aggressive and hot blood. Number 7, Goblin Slayer from Goblin Slayer the Anime. Goblins are known for their ferocity, cunning, and rapid reproduction, but their reputation as the lowliest of monsters caused their threat to be overlooked. Raiding rural civilizations to kidnap females of other species for breeding, these vile creatures are free to continue their onslaught as adventurers turn a blind eye in favor of more rewarding assignments with larger bounties. The 15-year-old priestess joins a band of young, enthusiastic rookies to investigate a tribe of goblins responsible for the disappearance of several village women. Later, as a holder of the prestigious Silver Rank, the Goblin Slayer allows her to accompany him as he assists the Adventures Guild. From the start, he didn't show his full potential, but at the end of Season 1, he was unstoppable. <laughs> Number 6, Sado Mao from The Devil is a Part-Timer. Just imagine a demon lord who can destroy a complete world doing a part-time job at McRonald's. Basically, he was once the Devil King who declared war on Entei Isla in an attempt to annex the four continents. 
However, due to the actions of the hero Amelia Justina and her companions, he was forced to retreat to Earth, causing him to lose almost all of his powers. And now to stay alive in this world, he has to earn money, and that's why he's working at Mig Ronald's. When he regains his powers, Mal's body reverts to its previous form, depending on the amount of magic he has accumulated. Number 5. Aladdin from Magi the Labyrinth of Magic Aladdin is a mysterious child who wanders aimlessly and who seems to know nothing about the world. In his journey, however, he's accompanied by Ugo, a huge and shy djinn who lives inside his flute which makes him so overpowered that he can defeat a complete army single-handedly. Trust me, this chibi kid right here is so overpowered. Number 4, Shigeo Kageyama from Mob Psycho 100. Shigeo Kageyama, otherwise known by his nickname Mob, is the titular main protagonist of the anime and webcomic slash manga series Mob Psycho 100. He's a powerful esper with vast powers and is the assistant and disciple to Arataka Reagan and is the newest member of the Body Improvement Club. At a young age, Mob learned that his powers were too strong to leave unchecked and would result in other people being harmed. As a result, he has decided to keep his emotions in check to prevent other people from being hurt. He does this to prevent his powers from reaching 100%, though it is revealed that he can control his emotions in his 100% state in some cases. Due to his control of his emotions, this has made him socially awkward and lacks friends. Despite his social awkwardness, Mob is actually a kind and compassionate kid who is also very helpful and forgiving and will help others when he can. Behavior, and that alone, has resulted in the withholding of your points allowance for this month. The points allotted to this class for the month comes out to a total of zero. <laughs> Number 3. Kiyotaka Ayanokoji from Classroom of Elites Kiyotaka Ayanokoji is a student of Class D where the school dumps its worst. There he meets the unsociable Suzune Horikita, who believes she was placed in Class D by mistake and desires to climb all the way to Class A, and the seemingly amicable class idol, Kikyu Kushida, whose aim is to make as many friends as possible. Which we later come to know that she's not as good as she pretends. And we also get the knowledge about Ayana Koji that he's actually a test subject, and that's why he's so damn mentally overpowered. I know. Number 2. Yato from Noragami Yato is a lord who dreams of having millions of followers. Without a single shrine dedicated to his name, however, his goals are far from being realized. He spends his days doing odd jobs for 5 yen apiece until his weapon partner becomes fed up with her useless master and deserts him. Just as things seem to be looking grim for the god, his fortune changes when a middle school girl, Hiyori Iki, supposedly saves Yato from a car accident taking the hit for him. Remarkably, she survives, but the event caused her soul to become loose and hence able to leave her body. But when they come together, they can fight with any monster. Just a guy who's a hero for fun. Number 1. Saitama from One Punch Man I know a lot of you must have known this bald head man which looks dumb but actually has unbelievable powers which can kill any monster in one punch, and that's why he's the perfect example of an overpowered main character. For now, we're not gonna dig deep into this anime. And we're gonna end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before leaving, please make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe, and also share your ideas in the comments section.